Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Tired Hands Cool Waves IPA. India Pale Ale with Ella, Rewaka, Vic Secret, and Lactose Sugar. Uh, Ella being a half-sister to Galaxy. Galaxy. Yeah. So. It's an Australian. It used to be called Stella. Hmm. Switch the name to Ella. Let's read this can real fast. Cool Waves. Uh, the beer in this can is hyper fresh, unfiltered, and fragile. Keep cold. Enjoy the contents ASAP for a beautiful and befuddling Organoleptic experience. Organoleptic. Oh yeah, please recycle. Organoleptic. Is that, I don't think I think they made that up. It's not a real word, I don't think. Ardmore, Pennsylvania. It has their little logo and just a bunch of can art, really. No alcohol percentage. We had to untap this. It appears as if it's a six percent beer. Um, I had one the other day and I, it felt like a 7% beer to me. Well, we had least. to look at their website and, and it lists on the website. I'm not sure why breweries are not putting in their alcohol percentages on the cans. I think it may be like a state by state law thing. Um, mm. But then if you distribute like to other states, are you still required? I don't know. I don't know the logistics, yeah. but uh, it seems a little weird because a lot of cans, pretty much everything up till now has had an alcohol percentage yeah. and possibly IBU on that, on the can. True. So I don't know. Well, it looks hazy. <laughs> it looks- um, Very dense. Very dense. It has this bright poppy haziness to it that I really like the look of. Um, that tells me it's just gonna be really fruit forward, yeah. really tropical, really bright and punchy. Um, so probably that's what we're gonna get there. This but, tells me it's gonna be delicious. Yeah, pretty that's much. That's all I care about. Mm, I'm getting a lot of grapefruit and just stone fruit and and uh, pininess. Um, not so much pine, but like very fruit forward. Yeah, for very sure. fruity. Getting a lot of that stone fruit essence. Let's dive in because I am thirsty. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it's got this um, really dense bitterness. Actually, like a, a more earthy bitterness to it. Yeah, for sure. Kind of lingers in the back of the throat a slight bit, um, but really powerful notes of like grapefruit and st stone fruit being the key player, I think, in this one. Nothing like I expected it to taste though, I have to say. Yeah. This is, uh, this was a surprise. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, there's a little spiciness to it, which was completely unexpected. Yeah, it's kind of like a floral hop kind of thing. Like you get this like really fruity, kind of like stone fruit, mango, pineapple thing happening. But then off to the side, you've got this like really dense, earthy bitterness. Hmm. It's like, but but they're they're separatized. You yeah. First get the you first get the juiciness and the haziness, and then you get later on that lingering bitterness. Very yeah. curious. It's not all one cohesive no. thing, and it could be because it's like hyper fresh. It really is. It's like canned on six seventeen, and today is six uh, seven two. So I mean, that's, that's like a couple old. weeks old, yeah. you know. But yeah, an interesting an interesting choice. On a scale of one to four, one being don't drink this beer ever, two being, yeah, it's pretty average, three being a solid offering, and four being extraordinary. What would you give the cool waves from Tired Hands? I definitely give it a three. I think I'm right there with you. I think it's an interesting offering and uh, something that uh, you know I could come back to for sure. There's definitely has a little bit of everything. Yeah. Well, anyways, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.